Skin in its natural state is always under functional tension. Its viscoelastic properties allow it to react dynamically to movement and pressure. Microscopically, skin is a dynamic system including keratinocytes, fibroblasts, structural components including collagen and elastin, and blood vessels. When skin is cut, functional tension is reduced and cellular structures inherently take on a stable configuration. The normal healing process of skin leads to rapid proliferation of granulation tissue, which locks the wound edges and prevents further movement. The addition of negative pressure wound therapy enhances the formation of granulated tissue and develops a senescent or chronic wound. Once the wound edges are granulated and fixed, they become very resistant to reapproximation. However, skin can be returned to its original state when dynamic appositional forces are maintained in the early stages of healing. Cellular structures return to their normal tension configuration, and granulation is reduced. This prevents the skin edges from becoming fixed and promotes fast healing. When additional tension is introduced, Further biomechanical processes come into play. Mechanical stretch causes the tissues to elongate. Skin cells and collagen fibers straighten and align. Elastin fibers microfragment. Once the skin reaches the limits of mechanical stretch, biological creep takes over. In this natural physiological process, fibroblast numbers increase and become activated synthesizing new collagen. Vascularity is increased and new skin cells are created. Mechanical stretch and biological creep act together to expand skin to almost limitless proportions. This mechanism of tissue generation occurs naturally every day. In the abdominal wall, the anterolateral muscles exert lateralizing forces across the midline. Muscle fibers cycle constantly between the contraction phase, in which myofibrils actively shorten, and the relaxation phase, when the abdominal wall's natural tension pulls the fibers back to their initial length. If this tension is lost, the resulting imbalance causes the muscle to become fixed in a contracted state that is resistant to appositional traction. In abdominal surgery, the continuity of the muscle wall is disrupted. The forces exerted by the anterolateral abdominal muscles cause the wound to retract into a stable state that becomes increasingly difficult to reapproximate. The key to closing an abdominal wound is to restore the normal elastic tension of skin and muscle with dynamic appositional forces that are applied as early as possible. This produces a return to natural physiology, which enhances the effect of the therapeutic forces and facilitates gradual closure. SouthMedic has developed a series of products that leverage the skin's natural physiological processes. The core of SouthMedic's Dynamic Tissue Systems technology is a proprietary, stretchable, silicone elastomer. With anchors on either side, the elastomer spans the open wound. The closure system used is determined by the type and size of the wound. When applied, these devices exert appositional forces, which counter the lateral retracting forces of a wound. The unrelenting traction restores skin's elastic integrity and minimizes granulation, preventing a chronic wound state. A gentle increase in dynamic tension triggers mechanical stretch and biological creep that promotes skin movement and new skin growth through an entirely natural process. In abdominal surgery, the devices exert appositional forces that counter the natural retraction of the anterolateral abdominal muscles, 
and prevent muscle fibers from becoming fixed in a retracted position. SouthMedic has employed this core technology in a family of products that address numerous clinical scenarios. DynaClose is a topical skin closure device. The adhesive ends are made with a soft, stretchable fabric tape that is highly breathable and painless to remove. The clear silicone elastomer strip spans the wound without sticking to it and provides the dynamic tension that is the core DTS technology. The device provides an easy, comfortable, and non-invasive method to close retracted or dehissed wounds up to 5 cm in width without sutures, staples, grafts, or negative pressure. DynaClose is compatible with wound bed dressings. For larger or higher tension wounds, the Abra line of products is indicated. All Abra systems use SouthMedic silicone elastomer cords to provide the appropriate amount of therapeutic force. SouthMedic's elastomers have calibrated black markings along their surface. These are used to gauge and administer the correct amount of therapeutic force by stretching the elastomer to a maximum of two times its original untensioned length. In the Abra adhesive system, elastomers are secured to their anchor through a wire cleat that makes the tension easy to set and adjust. The elastomer is paired with a complex adhesive anchor that mimics the skin's natural elasticity and distributes shearing forces to prevent blistering. The device applies a dynamic appositional tension that prevents retracting forces, yet yields to shearing forces and improves patient comfort. Abra adhesive is used for pre-surgical skin expansion as well as for wound support and healing, leaving nothing behind except a sound primary repair. Abra surgical is indicated for use with high tension retracted skin defects. The device applies appositional forces through stainless steel anchors that are fixed to the skin and elastomers that are placed subcutaneously. With tension, the wound margins are reverted to inhibit granulation and to maintain healthy, viable margins. A wire cleat secures the elastomer and enables easy tension adjustments. Stainless steel flukes and a rear staple engage the skin's full thickness to distribute closure forces evenly. Abrasurgical restores normal skin integrity normalizes compartment pressures, and achieves a primary closure, eliminating the need for a skin graft. Abra Abdominal is specifically designed for abdominal wall wounds. The system applies appositional forces on the retracted abdominal wall by placing each layer of the abdominal wall under therapeutic force. The button anchor secures the elastomer and allows easy tension adjustments. The button pad and adhesive button tail distribute closure forces over a large area of healthy skin. The button pad's position ensures that the elastomer doesn't pull on the skin. Medial traction is applied lateral to the fascial wound edge, leaving the margin undisturbed and available for primary suture closure once the wound has been approximated. A perforated silicone sheet protects the viscera while preventing adhesions from forming. Abra abdominal is indicated for retracted, full thickness midline abdominal closure. DynaStretch is an atraumatic preoperative skin expansion device. The soft, stretchable adhesive fabric and the dynamic silicone elastomer both have an inherent elasticity, which allows patient mobility as the device works. The product is applied topically one to two weeks pre-op and is simple to manage and painless to remove. For surgical removal of a skin defect or flap, DynaStretch is indicated when the resulting wound is too large for primary closure under tolerable tension. Suture Safe uses the same elastomer technology as DynaClose with a clear, non-stretch limiter to support closed incision lines and prevent dehiscence of the wound. During application, the strip is stretched until the rip stop is flat. Then the device is applied across the closed wound.
This product provides a simple means of supporting a closed incision line to reduce pain, prevent dehiscence, and mitigate scar formation. In abdominal surgery, strong retraction forces from the skin and musculature cause lateralization of the abdominal wall. Immediate wound closure may not be indicated. Southmedic's Abra Abdominal System applies an unrelenting high tension that prevents undesirable retraction and keeps the wound edges mobile until such time as a delayed primary closure is possible. Placed early after surgery, the devices exert appositional forces that counter the natural retraction of the anterolateral muscles and prevent muscles from becoming fixed in a retracted position. Natural skin tension is also maintained. The elastomer penetrates the full thickness of the abdominal wall, distributing the forces evenly along the incision. A silicone viscera protector prevents adhesions, keeping the wound edges mobile. And a negative pressure system removes dangerous fluid buildup, reducing the chance of sepsis. If the wound is already septic, the system expands to safely accommodate any swelling and can safeguard against spreading the wound in the event of an increase of intra-abdominal pressure. It gently adapts to patient movements, maximizing comfort and reducing recovery time. By keeping the wound under high, unrelenting dynamic tension, additional surgeries are avoided and delayed primary closure can be achieved sooner. During abdominal surgery, skin and muscles pull away from the wound midline. The reduced surface tension across the abdomen causes skin to retract into a stable, untensioned configuration. Muscle fibers also become fixed in a steady, retracted state, making reapproximation challenging. Southmedic's Abra abdominal device provides a dynamic appositional tension that counters these retraction forces. Early application of this system restores the normal elastic tension of skin and muscle. Each elastomer can be individually adjusted in seconds to precisely control the wound closure on a day-by-day -day basis. The elastomer penetrates the full abdominal wall thickness, providing an even tension while leaving the native fascial margin free for primary suture closure once the wound has been approximated. This technology harnesses the viscoelastic properties of skin and muscle. Mechanical stretch realigns and moves tissue. It also induces biological creep stimulating new tissue growth to quickly and naturally close wounds previously considered irreversible. By yielding to patient movements, the device promotes mobility and reduces healing time. By installing the Abra system early and being diligent in maintaining proper therapeutic forces, the expectation is for a full abdominal wall closure or much reduced defect.